am Chris Hart. I'm a How to Draw author, and I'm going to show you today how to draw dogs, which is a favorite subject of mine. I've done books on all sorts of animals and things, but dogs really appeal to me. I'm grateful to have been able to sell three million books, and I'm translated into over 20 languages. So, let me mention a few things before we start. First of all, we're all familiar with how dogs look, so we have that going for us. But what we don't always know is where the joints are, where the knee is, where the elbow is on a dog, it's kind of mysterious to us and we kind of, you know, have challenges with uh, the, the configuration of the animal. I'm going to demystify all that stuff today. And the way we're going to do it is by thinking of a dog as a very furry, strangely standing person. And we're going to think of them as a person just in a different posture. And by doing that, I think you'll get it at a gut level. The last thing is appeal. Everyone wants to pet a dog. We want them to want to pet our drawings. So we're going to make our drawings cute. Not too cute so they become too funny, but cute enough so that people will say, hey, oh, oh, we want the oh, oh factor. So stick with me and we'll take all this in. We'll learn how to do it. Now, here's a special detail I want to show you, a special hint, and it goes back to the ears we did earlier. And this is good for dogs like the Great Dane whose ears are upright. Now you see this ear right here, we have, that's easy to do, we, we create an interior. But what happens with the interior on an ear like this? Well, this is like a cone, you see? And we can add a base to the cone like this, a circle. And what a lot of people do is they'll, they'll draw the exterior of the ear, like so. And then they might make this the interior of the ear. But you see, this goes out this way. And it doesn't really attach to anything or they make it short, and they make it go this way. And again, it doesn't attach to anything, and it's going to look incorrect. So what you want to do is draw that base, and then go from here to the base, right here. Right here, and I'll just dot this, so you can see how it would naturally curve around. Now you have the right placement of it, and you can fill in and color in the interior, but you're only now coloring in the part that really would be the interior. It has a much more convincing look to it. So here is the dark patch of shadow and a little different lighter patch of shadow because when you switch the angle, you're switching the shadow depth, the shadow intensity, as it were. We can also give them a little bit of an edge here. So you make that like a rim of the ear. Now this looks kind of complicated if you say, hey, what is this? How does a dog's joint go this way? Well, this is an arm. Think of it as an arm. And over here is the shoulder. We can all imagine that. That's the shoulder of the dog right here. That's the shoulder blade. That's the scapula of the dog. This is the upper arm, the short one here. And that makes this the elbow. That is the elbow on the dog right there. So he's moving his arm like this, you see? He's moving it like this. And this is flopping down as he pulls back. So you can see that here and here on the dog is the wrist. That is the wrist on the dog. These are its fingers. So really how a dog stands is on his fingers like this and the wrist is off the ground. He's not sitting, standing like this, he's like this. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the rear part, the hind legs of the dog, which again, we're gonna think of as legs. So here is the pelvis, here are the hips and they really slope down on a dog. They always slope down. So we have the connector, which is a thigh bone, connects to the hips, goes down to the knee. This is the knee right here. There are two bones. This is simplified anatomy. There are two bones to the knee that connect together. So that's the knee right here. That is the knee on the dog, and it goes back here, and that makes this, believe it or not, that is the foot. That is the rear foot, this entire thing, which makes this the heel and makes this the toes. So he's standing on his toes like a ballet dancing dog. Let's use layering in, or in order to make him look like he's got some depth in, three -quarter, in a three-quarter view. And this is how we do it. First, the front will take a center line the front of the body. Notice how the neck comes right down here, and this is the chest split muscles right here. 
Now we have the back, which we talked about hills and valleys and hills again. So the hills come down here, valley like that. That's, that's really the spine. And we'll wrap this around here. And a small little line back here. We're going to now differentiate the hip area, which we just did, from the midsection with a little line this way, as we have that way, and as we have this way. And notice they're all, they're all converging in the distance. Now that overlap, just that little bit of overlap is enough to show depth. But again, we will overlap the line here, and overlap the line here, so that the back of the leg looks like it's further back. We'll point the, the uh, toes out a little bit. And the front here is the shoulder blade. It comes at you a little more because this is flattening out. It's foreshortening. And here's the wrist down here. And back here we have the furthest leg. And therefore, it is at a different level. Look at the different levels we have. We have one set of levels, we have another set, and a third set. So we have three different levels, and that's important also to create depth. The last arm. And here is the shol far shoulder, near shoulder. We'll bring this up a little bit like this, and. Make a nice curved line over here. And again, that overlaps this arm. We can even put some shading under here and give it some more depth that way. Now, unfortunately, if you put shading right here, it's going to bring the neck forward. See how flat that makes it look? It looks like almost a reflection of the ball. So if you're going to have any, any kind of shading under here, it's got to be very minimal. And the tail. Again, even, even something like the tail, you can, you can overlap. See this line right here? It's going to overlap this line. And that makes it look like it's further back. Again, a little bit of shading works. And oh, 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 one second. Same thing with the tummy. See the line of the tummy, how it overlaps, invades the leg over here? Just like that. And now, that really holds together as a, uh, a dog in perspective in a three-quarter view, and there's some depth to him. So he looks like he's got some solidity.